CPU is low 70s and our RPMs is still hovering under 3800, which is very, uh, very unaudible. And if we have the gameplay on, we can't even hear that fan anymore. What's up, guys? So we're doing a little, a quick update video on our fan mod. And if you don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about the hole we put in the back of our Steam Deck. So we cut a hole where our fan placement is to allow better airflow to our cooling system in our um, Steam Deck. And if you want to know more about what we did, look at our previous video. I'll post it on uh, the description below. But... Right now, we got it plugged back up for this test on The Witcher 3. So we've been on for a while, and we're just walking through this town, and we are currently on um, things on high. I put everything on, oh, ultra, sorry, not high. I put everything on ultra on the Steam Deck. Yeah, I know that sounds a little crazy, but I just really wanted to push the system. So we got FSR on. Doesn't make any difference. Um, so we're doing 23 frames, really crappy. And this is a very demanding area with all these people. So it's not a very playable experience, but we're only doing this to really push the system. So right now, remember we, um, demodded this thing. So by clogging, uh, blocking that fan. So now it's pulling air from down here where it was initially intended to versus the hole we made. And we're at 4,800 RPMs, 4,900 RPMs. And a, a real quick caveat to that, that would have been in the 5,000 RPMs if it wasn't for a recent update. So there was a recent update here with the Steam Deck. Um, and it was pertaining, uh, I don't know exactly what the details on the update was, but there was an update that changed our advanced settings on our fan control now the fan is running sway smoother so it's not ramping up as much it does start off a little louder or a little higher than it did previously but this whatever happened in this update they they really fixed this fan control system also with with our with our previous mod i did notice a couple of issues with our previous um update of this fan controller where the system would randomly ramp up to like 7,000 RPMs, even though our APU and our GPU were as low as 60 degrees, um, which led me to believe that it could possibly be a issue with the MOSFET or VRM. But after this update, it's clearly not because it has not ramped up any at all, even after about a two hour stress test that I, I put out on this game. No, no ramping up, random ramping up. Um, so I think it was an issue with uh, the fan controller. So now that they updated it, it's working magically. It's working great. So just want to talk about that real quick. Update your Steam Deck to the latest one. That fan controller is working a lot better than the old, the old one. So we're going to get out of here. And then we're just going to talk about... Come on. Let's get back into the game. So we're in the game. It's nighttime. Not super, super demanding at this time, I think. Or is it more demanding? I don't know. So we're hitting about 25 frames at most. We're pretty much maxed out on everything. 75, 80 on, this, uh, on the CPU. 81. 4,800 RPMs on the fan. And we're on ultra settings. So we're really pushing this, this system. So now what we're going to do is we're going to unplug it. By unplug it, I mean we're just going to take this piece of tape off this blocking this fan. Definitely a lot more audible without that tape there. One second, I'm just going to yell at my dog to, for him to go in his bed. Duke, go to your bed, please. Your clicking on the hardwood is very loud, okay? Go lay down. Sorry about that. Okay, so our fan speed has already dropped. 4,400 RPMs. Our GPU is under 70 now. Our CPU is climbing down to lower 70s. And we're still in the same scene. We're going to start running around again. See if we can get tax the system even more. Now the fan is not audible. Um, slightly audible. Not as much as it was before. Probably it is the same audio as it was prior 
to um, us taking the tape off. So we're just walking around here. We're still getting the same amount of frames, but as you can see, our GPO, GPU is in the mid 60s and our CPU has dropped down to the low 70s. And we're just gonna continue to walk back and forth. We're gonna start running. We're still gonna try to tax the system as much as we can, but our main thing is not necessarily temperatures, it's this fan. So now the fan is barely audible and we're at 35 RPMs. And this is kind of where I was at testing when I tested this, is walking back and forth, is around this anywhere between 34 and 3,800 RPMs. And it would wrap up here and there. But it was pretty much pegged at that point. And it's very unaudible. So the reason why I'm making this video is I was actually looking on Amazon for um, for like new components that you could add to your Steam Deck to make it run cooler. And they're all kind of bullshit. And I, I'm planning on making a video uh, on those those coolers for the Steam Deck and just tell you why they're not going to work very well and why this mod works so much better. But as you can see that we're still... Pushing our system, our GPU is in the mid 60s, GPU is the low 70s, and our RPMs is still hovering under 3800, which is very, uh, very unaudible. And if we have the gameplay on, over the audio on the game. So, as you can see, the fan mod works perfectly. So, if you didn't, disclaimer doing this fan mod, do it at your own risk. You know, don't. I'm more than willing to lose this Steam Deck and if I need to buy another one. I, I don't, I'm okay with that. I've made that decision. But so if you're not willing to do that, then I would suggest maybe, you know, not doing it. But if you do, you can see that it works. And if you didn't see the last video, just because we cut this hole back here doesn't mean... That's all we did. So watch the previous video. We did some thermal thermal pads to the MOSFETs and the VRM, which is actually a real big problem. This is a problem without this fan mod, how hot this MOSFET and VRM is. Not in a sense that your Steam Deck will break, but in a sense that it gets really hot. And then the hotter these things get, you know, over time, it just degrades a little bit quicker. But I'm sure within the next three to four years, there's going to be a big update to the Steam Deck. And um, we're going to just basically, hopefully, we can still use the same shell and then put, like, new guts in inside there, like a new APU. That would be pretty fucking cool if Valve does that, and I'm totally on board for that. But other than that, this is the, the video um, about the fan mod allowing The Witcher 3 to play a lot better. Notice that our fan speed dropped to 3,500 RPMs, and our temps are about the same. So... We are not moving, but it should ramp up a little bit from all the moving and stuff. But as you can see, it's running quieter. It's running cooler. Frames aren't any better. Our frames are not better. But it's nice to know that our APU and GPU are running at very, um, you know, good temperatures. And also, I didn't show the room. So let's do the room temp. So right now, my countertop is 16C. All right. This is a cold counter. This is a granite quartz. 16c all right let's do the ceiling ceiling is 16c let's try that again yeah six oh 15c ceiling is colder which is kind of weird um but yeah so as you can see that this thing is this fan mod right here that we did running super cool do this fan mod at your own risk um and if you want to know more about what we did here go ahead and see our last video i'm going to do some testing and some other games um, to see how well this fan mod works for them. And hopefully I'm going to look into being able to push the the APU a little bit harder by adding more wattage to it. Uh, I've been looking at some videos to see how to do that. Um, that way we can really push the system since our overhead is a lot better right now for temperature wise. We can definitely try to see if we can just consistently push like a 10 watts to the GPU, 5 watts to the CPU. That might be... This thing might be like a monster for a consistent flow of power. But remember, it, with more power comes more heat. And the one thing we do know about this Steam Deck is this VRM and MOSFET, which is back here, is a proper issue. So 
Thanks for watching this video. Um, we're going to come up with some more stuff. Uh, stay tuned. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, hit that like button. And if you have any questions, I'm here for you. Peace.